Hey guys, it's KDK here and I welcome you to my video and I thank you for choosing me. We are here with Rattledean, rank 20 to 10, 80% win rate. It was submitted by Tolar92 and the thing that reminds me is the really, really old control paladin who was just erecting the ladder. But it's like maybe one year, I don't even know man, but it was running Nezot as well. And I like the concept man, I really like the greedy, greedy Nezot decks and like paladin is just made for it I feel. So let's look at the deck a bit closer. So two Righteous Protectors, I mean this card is really busted, so why not? One Equality, only one for a greedy deck, well... Alright, Hydrology is sure, the secret is just too powerful to pass this. Loot Hoarder to draw some cards, okay-ish. Our Priest Keeper, sure, that's good. Rallying Blade, Fiery Vorex with an upside, man, what? What else do you want? Stonehill Defender, sure. Another Tyrion, Wicker Flame, okay ish. Death Rattle for Nezot. If it's your opponent's turn, summon a 2 2 Ghoul. I mean, if we play the Nezot and summon all of these guys, well, let's go. Blessing of Kings, sure. Buff these guys, right? This is just here for these two guys, I guess. Or to like extra tempo. Chillblade Champion. To be honest, I'm not really. A huge fan of this card but I guess it can save you in some situation you can gain it's like basically 4 mana charge 3 to gain 3 health so I guess it's not that bad but yeah consecration sure has to be in all of the lists or in the controlish list corpse taker well I'm thinking if we don't want to like remove chill blade champion well let me just complete the thoughts. Scalamancer, sure. We haven't seen much play of this in Constructed. But I think with the Spike Receipt, man, it's really deadly. Even with Blessing of Kings, it's just like... 8-8 eight, eight Skeleton is huge. And if you manage to like go 5 into 6 Spike Receipt on it, it's really huge and I like the synergy. Well, Sunkeeper Terrium, what are we going to say about this, right? Bone Mare, Busted, Tyrion, Busted, Nazot. Alright, mm, I, don't, I don't really like to edit the decks, but I want to do this, man. I want to uh, take out the Chillblade Champion, and maybe it seems really, uh, really weird, but I will insert this guy here to buff the corpse taker with the wind fury i mean it's so freaking op you can even imagine i've, I've been playing a list with the Gru crew master and the corpse takers and i just like it more than a chill blade champion so that's just my opinion so i wanted to change that one particular card because you can snowball so freaking much by this so yeah let let's go for it and guys, remember one single thing. Just have fun. So we are against another Paladin, that means... Uh, well, what could it mean? Murloc Paladin probably, I guess. So we just keep this for sure, throw away these cards. Maybe uh, we should keep the Rallying Blade Man, that was a mistake. I don't want to keep the Wicker Flame even though we had the Rallying Blade because I want to get some value from the Corpse Taker that we didn't get but you know I think you should throw away the Wicker Flame like every time. I, I, well you want to like make the Corpse Taker better right and that means the Wicker Flame has to be in the deck not in your hand so that's my logic behind it. <laughs> what would Uther do? Well, I'm Uther and I think he will just lose, so just don't think about it. Well, uh, we could like coin out the stone hill to contest this and like not just sacri sacrificing this, but I think we just like draw and we don't care if he kills it with 1-1, one, one, well whatever. We want to save the coin for Tyrion, I guess, for now. No patches. Something like patches in my hand, no. 
throw it away. No, I don't want this card. Out of my jungle. Sarnite Chain Gang seems good on the curve. Seems really good on the curve, yeah. Ah, Ninga. I have no idea what this, what this Hydrologist is even saying, man. If someone knows it, let me know in the comments. Because I have no idea. He's like... L -l -l -l. <laughs> okay, man. He's playing pretty slowly. And... Mm -hmm. He's not even like, oh, it's interesting. While we have our own fortune play from our deck, which means we are not going to play now. This is better. It's contesting the board way, way better. And we, I guess we want to buff the Crusader with something, right? And we have zero buffs right now. Okay, I get it. Yeah, you just want to trade it. And he's just playing really slowly. Is he going to play the secret? Oh, he should, right? He definitely should. The end is coming? What? Wow. Mm. We could like copy our hydrologists, but like, why? We can even clear it. We can clear it? Do we want to clear it? I think we do, man. I think we do. Okay. So what do we get here? Get to Waikodo, I think we can keep it for Tyrion. Free me, free me! How long can this go on? Okay, okay man, so show me what you got. Well, he wanted to... I don't understand this man, so... I was like thinking, I need to clear the whole board because he could have... He could have the spike receipt, but he played Doomsayer, I mean, was it just mind games or like, what the hell man, I don't know, it's weird, it's really weird. So, mm, we can clear it mm, and play the Skelementor into next turn, coin, Tyrion, yeah sure, or we can play this and hero power. Um, I don't know. Let's just take more value from our mana crystals and like use all of our all of our crystals because we we will just use five mana and that's like mech. And next turn we are coining the Tyrion, which will give us a uh, I would say a huge oh oh man. And he even hit the right one, oh, man. Why did? Well, if I would play the Skelementor here, there would be a chance that he would, you know, like trade it into that. Okay. Da 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 da. Yeah. Tyrion on turn eight. I like it. We just hope he doesn't have Tyrion as well. Well. On the other hand, he should have it, right? What? Huh? So, you don't want to sacrifice your bird into it. Okay, I get it. I, I, think, I mean, we just got the Nazoth, so... This is... That's where the lot's going to die. We make this die, and we might even think about... Reviving them. I mean, some players just play Nazoth to bring up just Tyrion, so... Hmm... So, sure, we do this. Okay, it's not Noble Sacrifice, that's important thing to know this. I want to play Bone Mare on this, man. I just want to. So, we just do one thing. We play the Getaway Kodo, we play this, we trade this here. N Repentance, oh my god, that's so bad. That's even better for me. And we just pass. We are not going to play Hero Power because... We don't want a recruit to our hand. This is not. This is not. Oh man, he's just doing it. Okay, thank you for another Tyrion, man. I will have so many weapons that I won't be able even to use them in this game. Because, what? Is he going to trade it? No. No, man. You cannot... No, no. No, I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe you, man. Okay, he cannot play it, and this is Consecration turn for sure. 
No, sure you can. No. Oh my god. What? Why would you do that trade, man? Tell me why. Tell me why. Why would you do that trade, bro? I mean, what was the trade? I mean, I would play the bone marrow on it anyway, so he wouldn't need to trade it, but that made just zero sense, man. That was really weird. Really weird. Okay, I think we just can chill out a bit with the Nizod. We will just bone mare this, turn after we play another Tyrion. And everything's going to be okay, guys. Just don't stress out, it's okay, it's okay. What? Did he destroy something? Well, he destroyed a getaway Kodo. Huh? What? I mean... Nah, whatever. Sure, I like this. We can even trade it. And punch face. And next turn we use this, the last charge of our uh, Ashbringer. Yeah, Ashbringer. And then we just play another Tyrion. Then, when he deals with the Tyrion, we just play the Zod and bring two Tyrions back. And... Sure, man. I don't even care. I don't freaking care. Oh. Hmm. This is interesting, though. Should we... Uh, I don't like punching into this. Just like... But he's not going to clear that, right? Screw that. Next turn we can Peacekeeper and clear it, I guess. Maybe I can take the 4 to face, why not? Why not? Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't see a reason why I shouldn't. We have the uh, we have the wicker flame now, so that's something that's going to heal myself. So that's good, definitely good. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, do we want to Nazot now? I don't think so. We could maybe play. No, 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 no. I was thinking about Sunkeeper, but I don't like it. I think we just, mm, yeah, we just take the damage and we do this. I am on fire for eight with life steal, man. What more do you want? What more? Yeah, this this just. There's no way he's going to outvalue me with the Nazot. There's now there's probably zero chance that he's going to kill me. Okay, Sunkeeper is pretty huge. But anyway, I don't think it's enough. I mean, well, maybe. But it shouldn't, right? We can bring two Tyrions, man. And we have the Spike Receipt. Yeah, I haven't thought about that. Yeah, my bad. Okay, okay, that's good. What? I mean, yeah, just go ahead, man. Just destroy your... So he has um, six, um, nine damage, and he has... 13 health, so it's like 9-13. And he's playing Doomsayer against mine, Stegadon. Which is 2-6. What the hell, man. Like, what are you going to develop next turn that you want to play Doomsayer right now? I don't see a point here. And, okay, you punch my face, okay. Sure. And now what? Okay, man, I get it now. I was like, there's no way he's going to outvalue me, man. But I still think there's no no way he's going to outvalue me anyway. Okay, so there's Nazot versus Uther DK. Do you see this value? Ashbringer. Ashbringer. 8 8 8 8 2 2 Draw a freaking card. No, 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 there's no way you are going to outvalue me. Well, yeah, if he's uh, <laughs> if he manages to do some shenanigans with this, well, anyway, it's lethal, right? Is it? It should be. Uh, yeah, we have exactly 33 damage. 
Don't test me, child. What did you think, man? Alright, guys. This time I won. I mean, I won almost every time, but whatever. So, guys, thank you for watching. This deck is definitely a good idea. And I really like it. I mean, I really miss the times where you... Where this was the meta, right? You were just playing the Nizal and you played all of the bunch of death rattle cards and it was like yay but no one plays this right now so that's sad well Skelementor I like it I like this card I mean with the buffs it's pretty insane but you have to get to the point where you can play the buffs on it so that's uh, not a really easy task in this meta as well so that's maybe the negative side of this but I like it overall man it's good it's really good so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel, I wanted to say channel, see you guys, have a nice day.